Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, oh lordy, fix Premiere Pro from crashing. Now this is a real simple one and most people will say this, re hey, I have a tutorial on this? Absolutely, because just yesterday I was talking to a major US broadcaster who was dead in the water until this uh, came up and it fixed everything. So Premiere Pro does a v uh, this job of always saving caches, saving plugin cache, saving prefs, saving media. It saves a bunch of stuff to help Premiere Pro run uh, better better performance. And you can clean that information out. That information sometimes gets corrupt, screwed up, whatever. Don't worry about why, just clean it out. And it's very simple. Hold the Alt key on Windows and the Option key on Mac when you load to uh, get rid of your preferences. Add the Shift key to that to uh, also clear the plugin cache. So it's just safe to always hold Alt Shift on Windows, Option Shift on the Mac, as soon as you load, and you'll know that you've done it correctly when your welcome screen comes up and there are no previous projects in there. But make sure you have backed up your workspaces, keyboard shortcuts. Remember, you can do all this through Creative Cloud Sync. And once that's uh, loaded, you'll, you'll find, as in this broadcaster just yesterday, instantly everything was great and I haven't heard back, so it was all fine. So that's all well and good. Now you can also, that's just cleaning out the uh, plugin cache and the preferences. Um, and that won't get rid of any of your projects. It won't get rid of, of your uh, effects presets. But I would always, I back up my presets. I'll show you that in a sec. I back up my presets once a month just in case I forgot, did I add something there? Let's go have a look at that and then I'll show you how to clean the media cache. So in the effects, you can select your, your presets that you have and I have a bunch in here and I'll select those presets here, go to the little flyout menu and export my presets and then later you can import them. Down on the bottom left hand corner, if you click here, you can sync your settings. You can set up your, your settings with Creative Cloud and you can manage those sync settings in here. So you can automatically back up the preferences, workspaces, keyboard shortcuts, uh, and you can automatically clear them on application quit. That's only if you're sharing a computer. So that protects all the things that you've saved. Now let's talk about cleaning out the media cache, which again is another place that Premiere Pro is saving things to, uh, to make things faster. So if you go to media, you'll see on the right hand side, the media cache database, you can click to clean that. So if I click clean, it's gonna clean that full database out and it might have to rebuild other things. This is not a giant file, but uh, it does hold a bunch of information. So we've uh, cleaned that. You can also delete this cache if you wherever you have it, and I've got it set up on a second drive. So you can find that uh, on your desktop and get rid of that. I tell you 99% of the time, Alt, Shift, or on the Mac, Option, Shift, Launch, Boom, get rid of it, fixes so many problems, and Premiere Pro starts working. The one last area that um, I've personally had some issues was with QuickTime on Windows. And Occasionally, uh, because I have a Blackmagic cinema camera, uh, sometimes I found that the Blackmagic QuickTime stuff that gets loaded might give me problems, so I nuke that. So any kind of uh, extraneous QuickTime stuff you have loaded might also be causing a problem, mostly on Windows, but if, if you get rid of that, um, that will solve a problem. This cleaner won't get rid of that. That's OS level stuff that you've installed on top of it as I have with different things. And once you run the, this cleaner, you're gonna to wanna to shut down, do a cold restart, not just a restart, but shut it down, start it up again. And Premiere Pro, that'll solve things too. If, I, if I'm if i using that prefs cleaner, uh, holding the keyboard shortcuts, uh, sometimes I'll do that and then quit Premiere Pro and actually shut the machine down and restart it and kind of refresh its brain and, and get it going. So those are the things that can definitely get you out of a hole. Like I mentioned, still a lot of people don't understand this real quick, uh, how to clean the prefs by holding the keyboard shortcuts. All right, hopefully you found this informative. 
I know that person yesterday did. Uh, if you did, then please subscribe to Video Revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.